Hey y'all, do you use a lot of vision cameras? Are you designing industrial cameras into your equipment design? Uh, on industrial cameras, it seems like the connectors are almost as big, if not bigger, than the camera itself. And I didn't realize how much of a challenge this can be with the connector part of it until I visited a few equipment OEMs that face this exact problem. Uh, I've recently visited a couple, and it's, it's really a challenge, the connector part of getting a, a vision application uh, installed on a machine and in the place where we need it. Um, and then with vision, there's so many amazing things being done with artificial intelligence and machine learning and algorithms and image processing to solve all these real-time manufacturing problems uh, like robotic welding and bin picking and sorting and inspecting and quality. Uh, even I've seen a luggage handling in an airport using cameras on this kind of custom-built OEM equipment. So I was excited talking about these things and discussing it with Frank uh, of Matrix Vision, and, uh, and he shared with me a really cool technology that I didn't even know existed um, called configurable industrial cameras or embedded vision cameras. And uh, these have a modular design um, using the standard components uh, on the off the shelf, kind of off the shelf, that allows like a large number of options and different requirements, including board level cameras. I mean, like, look at this thing. There's a, a board level camera here. Um, and these configurable embedded vision cameras have this kind of modular design using standard components that gives you lots and lots of different options. Um, so some examples of configurable industrial cameras are things like uh, lens mount holders, like a C mount or an S mount or uh, a C mount with a filter mount. Uh, the types of connections can be various different things, like here you see a, a USB connection there. Uh, here's, a, here's a USB um, a micro B connection. And uh, what's really cool, I'm trying to find the cable here, is you know, maybe you only have room for this part of the industrial camera, but you need the connection somewhere else. So, you know, even options to put like a ribbon cable in and then put your, your USB connection somewhere else uh, is really slick. And I thought that was really interesting that you could have all these different types of connections and actually separate the connector from where the camera is if you only have a little bit of room to, to install the camera, to install the imaging sensor. And then there's different various board level imaging sensors for, for CMOS sensors like color versus monochrome or different resolutions, different frames per second, different pixel sizes, a global versus a rolling shutter. There's all these different uh, uh, image sensors that are, are kind of standard components that you can kind of plug together. Uh, there's also different various uh, IP rated housings and board level mounting options. Uh, you can get them with or without IOs and uh, even filters like IR cut or a glass filter or a daylight cut. So, um, you know, the ability to, to kind of put together the building blocks, the puzzle pieces, um, it's not really customization building your own circuit boards. It's taking the different puzzle pieces and the different building blocks and putting it together um, so that you have the right fit camera for the right application and for, for what you're trying to do. Uh, so um, I had this in my pocket. I had no idea that the, this was an option inside the valve portfolio. Um, so if you're a machine designer looking to put like an imaging camera inside your equipment and inside your application and the current solution has all those big connectors and things, and those are really annoying and in the way, um, uh, reach out and talk to Frank, talk to him about how you can, can uh, configure your own industrial camera and embed it into your equipment. Uh, really cool. And Frank's a nice, uh, smart guy to talk to about cameras. So until next time, ask yourself, what will I automate next?